Okay then, so in today's setup guide, we are checking out the very awesome Xbox 360 emulator, Xenia. So funny enough, I've never actually covered this one as a standalone before on my channel, but here we go. And by far, this is the easiest, most easiest emulator you're ever going to encounter. So anyways, this is the setup guide for it. Check this one out. Okay then, before I start today, Xenia Emulator, which of course is a very cool emulator for Xbox 360. If you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like. That just means you'll get notified every time I release a setup video like this one you're watching today. And it also helps my channel out a great deal. So what is Xenia? Xenia, of course, like I say, is an Xbox 360 emulator and we can actually run our ISO files from this. So what we're going to do is just download it first. And this is the Xenia website, so xenia.com. JP and nowadays with this we've actually got a really cool compatibility list and yeah it's not so polished as something like RPCS3 which I covered yesterday actually but you get a good glimpse here of what this emulator can actually play so the ones you're looking for predominantly is going to be state playable that type of thing but take a look through this and there's lots of information here for what Xenia is currently running so next up we're going to go to the download tab and we're going to download the master. So once you've downloaded it, you'll find yourself a zip folder. If we just open this one up, we've got a few things inside of here. So on the desktop, I'm going to create a shortcut, new folder, and you can call this folder whatever you like. So let's just drag those inside of there. So left click, highlight everything, and just drag and drop. Very easy to do. And we can actually now delete that zip folder. We don't need that. So let's go into the Xenia folder. And in here, I'm going to just create another new folder and just call this Games. Again, you can call this whatever you like. We're just going to make this very compact and neat. Okay, so let's open up the emulator itself. So double left click on Xenia.exe. And here it is. So like I just said, it's nothing compared with RPCS3, but it plays some Xbox 360 games fairly well. So what we're going to do to load a game is just go to File, Open. And that's going to take us into our Xenia folder that we've created. Here's my games folder. Now, according to compatibility, Halo 3 runs really well on this emulator these days. So I'm just going to double left click. And here we go, we're in. So what I'm going to do to make this full screen, I'm going to just go to display and full screen. Now I'm using my Google Stadia controller, I've not had to configure this, it's automatically detected it. Look up here, sir. Okay. Now down here. Good. Everything checks out, Sergeant Major. Kick off the training wheels, Corporal. He's good to go. First squad, you're my scouts. Move out, quiet as you can. Okay, we can actually turn on anti-aliasing just here, but just remember that if you're going to be using this, you're going to have to have a fairly decent computer. And what anti-aliasing is going to do is just clean up jagged edges. So we got two versions of this. Its stream is really going to be wearing on your computer, 
and we've also got normal quality and under resampling and sharpening we've also got some adjustments just there to make games look a little bit better and if we just go to display we can actually change the full screen and back into window modes just by pressing F11 and finally I've got Project Gotham Racing 3 now this game when it came out I love this game. It was just a great game. It probably still is. I've not actually played this one for some time, but I recently bought a copy of this about a year ago. And here we go. So file, open, and Project Gotham Racing 3. F11. And that's it for Xenia Setup Guide. So unlike many other emulators that I've covered here on my channel, just Jamie, this one in particular is just beyond easy. Now, when you come to saving your games, it's going to save those games for you. So for example, if I got to a certain point in the Halo game or Project Gotham Racing 3, we can actually boot the game back up using Xenia and then just load it up from the saves so it really is that simple so anyways if you like today's setup guide hit notification subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content also join me on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok but until next time stay retro